Hi, I'm Marshall from Gordona Vapes. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the recipe for the lady. This is a peach cobbler recipe that has a really special peach flavor to it, in my estimation, and let's take a look. The first flavor in it is Flavor West Cinnamon Roll. This is an amazing cinnamon bakery flavor that I highly recommend. A lot of cinnamon flavors, whether they're cinnamon sugar cookies or just cinnamon on their own, tend to suffer from a dryness that Flavor West Cinnamon Roll does not have. This is my go-to cinnamon for making a cinnamon crunch type flavor. And pretty much any time I want to add cinnamon to a recipe, to a bakery recipe, this is the one that I go for. The next flavor is Flavor Art Apple Pie. Now, the name of this flavor is apple pie, but the apple in it is next to nothing as far as I can tell. It, it might have a little bit of general fruitiness to it, but primarily this is just a really good solid pastry bakery flavor. It doesn't uh, have too much cinnamon in it. That's why we use the cinnamon roll to get it in this recipe. Although it does start to have a little bit of cinnamon as it ages. It's a great, great flavor. You might need to worry about that it has a lot of acetylpyrazine in it. So if you use it at too high of a percentage, it can start to uh, take on a bready, almost Fritos-like flavor that isn't particularly pleasant. But if you keep it below two and a half percent or so, it's a great, great flavor. The next flavor is Flavor Art Cookie. This is a great blending flavor for mixes. I wouldn't ever use this as the primary flavor in a mix, but if I want to accentuate the bakery flavors in a mix and make sure that they stand out and that they're not drowned by fruit, I will oftentimes supplement with Flavor Art Cookie to make sure that the bakery elements don't get drowned out in a juice, especially as it ages over time. This also has acetylpyrazine in it, so watch out, don't go too high with it. I don't think I've ever used this in a recipe at over half a percent, and even that is fairly strong. The next flavor is TFA Peach. TFA Peach on its own is nothing particularly special, but once you pair it with the other peach I have in this recipe, the Flavor Art White Peach, it really starts to take on a natural peach flavor that I have never tasted in any single peach flavor on its own. A lot of people I've seen online will recommend TFA Juicy Peach, which isn't a bad peach flavor, but it tastes more like peach rings or peach candy instead of a natural peach. This uh, combination of these two peach flavors ends up taking on a canned peaches and syrup sort of flavor that works great for this recipe and in my opinion puts it over the top as an excellent peach cobbler that you can almost feel on your tongue. The next flavor is TFA Brown Sugar. This is one of my go-to sweeteners for bakery recipes because it doesn't end up overwhelming a mixture the way that sucralose can, even in very low amounts. It simply heightens the sweetness that's already there and supports the bakery flavors. It has a little bit of darkness to it that I like in my bakery mixes. The last flavor in the recipe is Flavor Art Caramel. This is one of my favorite caramel flavors. It's very, very creamy and at just little amounts it'll really help to soften a recipe up and with the brown sugar it helps to bring syrupy notes out of the peaches to emulate that canned peach taste. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you mix up the recipe go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know what you think about it. I hope you like it and whether you mix up my recipes, your own recipes, or somebody else's Mix up something and make sure that the FDA doesn't take away your ability to vape.